Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Asturias, in which, as you can see here on the main menu, the boy is all grown up now. He is not just the king of Asturias, Navarra, Andalusia, Badajoz, Galicia, and uh, Navarra, unless I did say that already. <laughs> There's so many kingdoms in the Iberian Peninsula. But he has united into one realm. He is now the Emperor of Hispania. The Emperor of Spain, if you will. And as you can see, this is his wife, um, who is of a Croatian origin named Jadvika, the first Empress as well. And as you can see, he's got the Emperor's crown is Osorio, that's his name, Osorio II. And this is his heir for now, one, uh, his eldest daughter, only one or two years old. But, you know, let's get it on. We're going back to the way we were left off previously. Hispania. Yes, the empire of the Hispanics or Hispanian or whatever nationality do they have that they call for those that live in Hispania. Not sure, but still. We are of a, a story in East culture, obviously, which is still considered, um, rather a minority culture in its entirety, but we're slowly spreading it. We've, we've introduced the Astorleonese culture down to Cordoba. And since we have so much great income, I decided to make my steward spread the culture all over. And we'll continue that spread, as well as the conversions, despite the, the scholar who is rather poor at his job. But then again, we don't have much of the way of fervor. And my current lifestyle is chivalry focus, which I'm currently doing more for the knights. Because we need advantage and we need more knights. Since this is an empire now and we are a bigger army and we need a lot more knights to compensate for our lack of quality. I mean, I'll eventually get gallant which not only increases a bit of martial but also my extremely high prowess which one would think that I should start leading my troops on the field of battle risky but I will because I am brave and I, sometimes I could be too brave for my own good but if I do manage to you know get hurt don't worry I have a Herculean physique and so is my wife, who is Amazonian. And yes, already two of my daughters have the same trait. Which just tells you that the generation is, a, is full of strong children. And some of them may become knights in the future. If we get sons, of course. Now, I even thought about the consideration of moving um, our capital down to Cordoba, but that's for reasons of high development, get down here, compared to, you know, our old capital, our old home, which has much less developed. I mean, the tax it provides is good because of the amount of buildings we have, but this is much better, and we could further improve upon it if we invest our money into this sort of thing, but no. I got my priorities now, and that is to deal with the last of the Umayyads. These guys here, they're very weak um, from their recent losses in war. But um, this is going to require two holy wars. One for Valencia, and then the other two are Maloroca. 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 It's a bit of a mouthful for me. Not familiar with that area. And then soon, if we want to unite the entire Empire of Hispania, we may have to start, you know, one day fighting against Aquitaine, which is a powerful kingdom still, despite the lack of levies they have, but they have allies to back them up. Yes, they got allies. Especially this one is led by a powerful king, even though give him 10 years and then he'll no longer be a problem or 
alternatively, if we want to acquire all of this, this is all Barcelona territory. Yeah, it's rather unfortunate that uh, if you were younger, then we would have some, well, you know. I mean, I would love to grab the Duchy of Barcelona away from the French without a war, because if we do go to war against him, it will be a very bloody affair. And the other alternative is, well, and it sounds like a stupid idea, but even though we view them as evil and they consider us as evil, so marriage alliance with them would be impossible. Unless we do something rather, I don't know, like it involves, you know, get a strong hook on the Sultan or whoever, or go kidnap somebody and recruit them and then, no, 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 you're getting, you're getting ahead of yourself. So you may have a lot of years ahead of you, but damn it, don't think of something wild, all right? We're about to ready to go to war soon. We have enough money for it. It's just the question is, what's the men of arms like? Oh, like, they don't have much of anything. They're vastly inferior, and their ally is from, is from event. That's all they have? Well, let's finish them off immediately. I got the piety. I'm a devoted servant. Although a paragon of virtue um, would be nice, which we can just grab the entirety of this in one go, but... Eh. And of course, you, that would be deep in the Mulawali territory. Uh, Mulawali territory, which means that you're going to be dealing with uprisings frequently once again. Which, nothing that we can handle. We're a very strong nation. And it's time to utilize that strength right now. For Valencia. Go! I'll take the lead. Split up. Take command on Sami, you take command on the other, Uncle. I'll head straight for the capital. You take this area. I got the siege weapons. You just... Well... The best knights are with me. Sultan's over there. Shall fight. No escape. Or well, there may be an escape. <laughs> they merged. We're gonna kill them all. And I will be there in the thick of battle. If we capture the Sultan, we gain the, the Syria. Our knight's been killed. He was wounded and, uh. Yes, died from his wounds. My god, every man. Oh, I forgot. There used to be a Norse presence in uh, Valencia temporarily. Yeah, in Valencia proper. It, that one used to be under the control of Sweden. So there was a Norse minority that once lived there. Now, straight for the capital. Barcelona, is that you? Oh, you want a piece of them. Also, uh, what objective are you going after? It's Barcelona.
No, that territory's mine. Beat it. Got him. We should get him. No, we got the Sheik, not the uh, Sultan, which he cowers in the castle now. Five months. You got a lot of work to do. Whereas we have the siege weapons. Actually, one thing. May have a possible side effect to shorten the truce because we just want to finish them off from good once this treaty is signed. against Barcelona because that's my territory that's going to be for the taking. Come out of there, Sultan. Capture their sister. But their capital is now fallen. We'll probably win, but... Just scare him away. Mine, not yours. Of course. Isn't that the same uncle that said you my army? Yes. I'll give him this. I don't care about the other man. Pray for a son next time. And it ought to be a strong son. Visigoth. Come and assist. So they don't get any smart ideas. They really invested on their forts. Uh -huh. Not as much siege weapons as we do. Motion coming from the night's logic, Veskin stirs I find Martin and Rodu um, get a middle of a heated argument, so we'll look at that Jamon. Oh, I don't have the diplomacy for that. Well these two are just my knights. Huh. Well just this once I'm gonna have both of them with. It's gonna give me a bit of dread and I need that little bit of martial lifestyle experience. The diplomacy challenge won't work here. Once I get Gallant, I'll probably go for Scholar. Because we really want to, you know, advance in technology. And whatever we're, that we have a current cultural fascination with. Under our control. Yeah, destroy my house. And stay out. It's my land. So now they reside on the island. We'll have a five year truce unless our um, Chancellor, you picked up more of the skill. Did you pick up August? Oh, oh family. Oh, you just picked up Patriarch as well. Even more diplomacy. Good on you. So yes, that adds up to the um, prestige even more. 
next to Poe Affairs. And hope for a short and true side effect. In a couple of years' time, we will finish them off for good. Now, holding it is another challenge. Give me one year, I'll press your claim. Well, I can imprison you. Allowing me to imprison the uh, tyrant. She may leave anyway, if we don't get her right now. So, raiders! Just saw that just now. Yeah, you go ahead. Raid loot recovered. African raiders. Pagans. Do they have a coast? Not a canary zone by them. Mali. The High Kingdom of Mali. Is that where they came from? They do have a coast. Actually, no, that's in past return. That's all desert. So probably they came from over there. Now, any long side of the coast, they send raider ships and now they raid our coast. So it's still an unreformed faith. Which they do have control of four holy sites. Actually, it says control, control, control. They could reform the faith at any given time. And that would spell trouble for the North African Muslims. That's something we ought to watch out for in the far in the future if if the uh Sabtid and the Ali uh dynasties don't watch their backs. Because when you compare the strength to three thousand five hundred Mali is 10,000 in addition with the allies. So there's a there's a new menace for the south, but uh, it's a scary situation down there. Which one day that we're gonna have to deal with. And we are in contact with them. But again, they're pagans. We view them as evil and they think us as evil. So far into the future, Mali be could become the new main antagonist of the latter part of the series. And are you a vassal of... Vassal of the High King of Mali? Yep. That's where they came from. And if they get prisoners, they're going to use the... You know, for their sacrificial rituals. Another daughter. Quick Amazonian. That's third Amazonian and the third one. Margarita. Alrighty. Still no sun, but there's still time. Okay, stop. No armies can be disfans you on this me. Oh, by the way, gotta give that away. 
But unfortunately, all I have are daughters, so... Someone's gonna have it. Who wants to be the Duke of Valencia? I got the money. And I'll take more of the prestige. Which... Very early I'll become exalted among men at such a young age, and hopefully one day I'll become a living legend. And secular opinion will be very high. Can't grant titles to women. Okay, perhaps one of my uh, knights instead? That is not landed. And is Catholic. Ah, brother-in-law. Wrong culture, though. A store Leonese. Why aren't you the knight of mine? I'm gonna recruit you in. Force you in because you got something here. If you had a higher martial. Actually, it's good martial. Well, you're the one that's gonna be the Duke of uh, Valencia instead. All this is yours. I salute to you. Night effectiveness increased. Sweet smiles and little eyes. Just like other children at her age, my daughter and heir um, and sometimes lies and tests boundaries. However, she often avoids suspicion of her sweet demeanor, and people always forgive her when she does get caught. Well, I wonder just how much she gets away with. I'll keep an eye on this one. She's charming now. Also, I got a we got a mass ransom in this. Huh. We got so many prisoners. Now we can just spam. Start making money again. I wonder. Yeah. Not good enough. Main trig is too low. Man, did I really mean to release nearly everybody? I won't accept, won't accept, will not accept. Right. Get rid of all of this. Get rid of all these notifications. My lord, this search uh, for of yours um, for a mere beast, and I have to admit, worries me. My patriarch Rumbold approaches me as I uh, sift through reports of new sightings of the White Stag. Evidently, anything that demands so much attention could be sent by Satan, as if existence is not the sign of the lord itself. The stag is a messenger from God. I'll take the challenge against him. So he'll say he just might be correct. Otherwise, he's going to say, What are you going on about? Then he'll stop endorsing me, and that'll cause problems. I told you. Messenger of God. Let it be known. The twist that turns of fate has not always been to my advantage. God know that I was cursed today when I met us for you. However, that curse has been lifted. Fate smiled upon me and brought that obnoxious crow to his grave. And not a day too soon, my old rival died from a seizure. I think it's related to possessed rather than great pox. I'd lose the stress even though there wasn't any to begin with. City. 
Venice. Do we have any contact with the Byzantine Empire? Yes, we do now. Ever since we captured the coast of uh, Valencia, we now have contact with Byzantium. Also, uh... Well, thank you, I guess. And mind you, Lantium is still held by Italian Asharis. When a crusade's gonna come up, I'm gonna use my pie to tell him, Go to there! Reclaim Rome! Madrid is now a store Leonese. Which, by the way, um... Oh, yeah, hereditary rules. We're about to get it in 40 days' time. So what should be next? After I get hereditary rule. I was thinking mustering grounds because um, we need to increase the size of men at arms regiments. Knowing that while well, we are an empire and, and our men at arms is not really at the best, and, and so is the quality of the army, we can increase it. So I gotta go for this in 40 days' time. Well, it just discovered thanks to you for the spread of the culture. So again, the ruler of this culture. Has the most Astorleonese counties in the realm. 28 counties. Oh, and that's not all. It also spread further south as well. And north. I forgot where I was spreading into, but nonetheless. That's part of the relevance of Duchy of Cordoba area, so go for here next. So, it's okay. Hereditary rule is finished. We can enact a partition law if I can have a bit of a crown authority to make it happen. This would further improve upon it. But we have to go back to the old travel tech and, and go for this. It'll take about 12 years. Could make it go faster in the future. Less Andalusians, less problems. As long as everybody speaks one language, and that's Asturian. Because that's, you know, based on the names, it's from the Asturian language, a regional language in Spain today. And don't forget, my new house. House Benevente, a cadet branch that we separated from the old, um, the Cantabria. Some of my counselors uh, believe the job is theirs by right of blood or influence alone. I don't know how wrong they are. I expect results, yet I'm often disappointed. After a long day, I'm complaining to Jadwiga when she interrupts me. Let me do something about it, husband. A few lessons may show up in their wits. Well, I did tell her to work on the learning. Even though she would rather do diplomacy stuff, but hers is just as good, so I need her to go for the scholarly lifestyle, and then once she becomes a scholar, then tell her to go work on diplomacy next. Hmm. Oh no, don't do that. Looking at the ages. Well, it's going to be him. He's the youngest. He'll be studying Marshall for 15 years. This is just to further increase his Marshall skill to continue working on what he's working on. And the control of the areas that I present control is good, so no need for that. And I don't want to organize levies because it's too big already, so it's mainly focused on less men in arms maintenance that's Estonia Vikings isn't it well so they hopped starting from their homeland of Estonia 
Lanema. That's definite native Estonian. So they went through Visby, Sweden, Norway, Denmark, and somehow they won the big old invasion. But I believe that was Samagatia that did that. But this high chiefdom here, he also holds the high chiefdom of Mora and Albany. Oh, look at Albany as an example. What happened? Oh, they actually held that for a while. It was Cree. Hasn't existed in a long time, but then they got it together, controlled by Estonians. And House Munsel, that's pagan business. Well, they haven't gone as far as Iceland yet. No Estonians there yet. So that makes him the king of Estonia and Lithuania. There's still Gaelic up there. I'm just baffled. Hang on, there's a way to check. No, not that. Albany, Kingdom of Scotland. It was destroyed some time ago. But he's still alive. Gee, imagine that. Future crusades for the region. And Estonia is making her way down to England. Which is in a very bad place to be as it's home of heretics. There's some uh, Satru faithful up there, but very soon, Suminusco will be introduced to Scotland. As Suminusco has slowly replaced Vidalism. That's horrible. Canterbury is not under our control. By ours, I mean Catholics. So what we have here is Cologne and Santiago are the only places where the Catholic holy sites that are under control of Catholics. This is sad. But I ain't giving up hope. That was mind-blowing on the geography side of things. As we'll continue on. Obviously the Eastern world is still a mess as ever. And Byzantium is the strongest country in the world. What does that say on the ledger? Is there a way to look that up? Ledger? To look at other countries? More... Because I really like to know. But anyways. Major scholarly expertise. Good on you. Oh yeah, I ought to start doing that in the future. But I ain't going to fabricate claims. I would rather have claims by marriage somebody or get a guest. Or kidnap somebody and uh, calm down. Stop thinking of such things. Hmm. So I don't want to fabricate claims because we need to convert all of this first. So make it less likely for uprisings to occur as they do have the ultimatum. Thousand gold. You better spend on something. Like all of this. I mean, you got the levees. Looking at far in the future, so 
Barracks it is. Anybody want to assassinate him? Because he's not doing well. And he's taking an eternity and a half. This should work, so go ahead. I got money. I'll be there in just a moment. We already have the agents. Ah, of course, you. Spy master. Here. Alright, feast time. Worked hard to convince our neighboring realms and, and vassals that the peace treaty I entered with Sultan Farouk of the Oman is flawed, illegitimate, and unfair to me. I am once again to, free to declare war upon him as I please. The truce has already ended. Good. Let's finish them off. Finish them off. That's what we wanted. Shorten the truce. You've done well. What do the vassals think of me before we declare war? Not all the way positive yet, but give it time with the the feast, the um, long reign, which I'm expected to rule for a long time. Long time. And, and I go on and so forth. But, even though we may just pull the trigger on this button, not yet. Was that an uprising expecting? Uh, let's just let's just be friends. Hopefully, yeah, we're friends. Lots of them. As for daughter Margarita. Gained a bit more prestige. The majestic white stack I am hunting comes to me in a dream, judging me with its deep eyes and flaunting its pristine coat of fur. We stand in the hills, everything around us silent, and no matter how I move, I get no closer to my prey. As I claw myself awake to feel my resolve hardening, it will not elude me much longer. I ought to go hunting very soon. Well, after at this feast, of course. Oh, maybe after the uprising. Farewell, my vassal. Well, save it. And I'm not expected to have any big time stressful events. And plus, I want that white stag! Sound the horn! Just as my vassal, uh, Mayor Martin, I crest a hill, we hear it. The snapping of twigs, the rustle of branches, birds screaming in fright. The heralds are announcing its arrival. A massive wolf headed straight for us. <laughs> Prowess challenge. <laughs> well, it is without equal. But it's Papheads here, with me. I cannot be killed. So I slay the beast, and I gained myself a hunting trophy. The impressive hunting trophy hangs in this character's great hall, showing off their great achievements. Got a wolf, and it's feast time. Just to have the vassal pinion off. Welcome, dear friends. The Stew Sea. In a drunken stumble, um, Count Rada unlatched an enormous cauldron hanging over the fireplace in the middle of the feasting hall. 
Yes, every broth well poured to cover half the room in a sea of stew. The irritable Mayor Sanchez, seated next to the cauldron, was caught by the rushing wave and loudly cursed by his ruined appearance as grease ran down his face. Guests rushed to the other side of the hall uh, as the thick mass spread the greasy tendrils among the skipping feet. Giving it to the, her insatiable hunger, Alvira collapsed to the floor, swallowing as much as she could of the meaty mess while Mayor Martin watched from other hall. Curse this mess! That takes a prestige hit for once. I didn't notice you were pregnant. And it's yet another Amazonian daughter. Marquisa. Marquesa. So ends another feast. Oh, yeah. Let's go on. Carried more shame and satisfaction after overturning the culture. Cleaner will not be cheap. Well, I can afford it. I wonder what have, where they're going to be wandering off to once we take over all of this territory. But I don't want to start the war now because we got this to deal with now. And meanwhile, I'll try to assassinate the patriarch. Plush and exotic carpet. Plush, vibrant, and soft as the first light of dawn. A merchant presents me with an exquisite carpet in hopes of good future relations. As I marvel to find wave, I am struck by a thought. Wouldn't a carpet like this muffle the treading of feet? Even could see on the steps of a bubbling agent. He will be honored by such a gift. Here you go. But he expects something is off. Oh. But don't worry. You've got the spy master on our side. Again. Got a lot of years ahead of me. Hey, you got a woman yet? An Italian. Lowborn. Oh, great. You married a bad woman. You just impregnated. Scandalous priest. The Catholic world was appalled to learn that Pope Gregorius himself has been routinely lying to the local priests. The very has been tricking him into acting on false information in order to advance his further schemes. While scandals among the clergy are nothing new, many are against that the head of our faith would succeed come to such temptations. Yeah, he's my guy. Is it because of his deceitfulness? Oh, I don't want to condemn him, because he'll excommunicate me if I even speak up to him. Like that. Maybe I should just stay silent about this. Now it's going to take even longer to convert. Does that make him a wicked priest? Sinful priest, whatever. So he's a dishonorable zealot, as we come to know him as. Here we go again. Oh, it's coming from over there. Right, rally the troops. Where's your... Okay. Let's try this again, the multiple rally point deal. Why doesn't it, you know, have half of this way while they take up all of that? What the hell? Just scram. Run for the hills. We'll meet you shortly. The leader is over there. Yeah, that's some issues that they need to be fixed. When we put multiple rally points, it's supposed to... Let's see. 
Um, rally points on Mr. Gun. Times of War could call. If your soldiers the rally point, I got around. The levies signed to rally point come from either my own domain or my vassals. Rally points could be reorganized, split, and merged as you see fit. Splint! Wait a minute. Hold on there. Halt! You still gathering? Nope, but you done a st stupid thing again. Run! Oh yeah, we sent out more of them. Capture the leader. My culture is discarded Amrari Sphere. It's part of early medieval. Naval speed increased. Our ships can go faster now. But again, my main focus is this one because I want to increase men at arms regiment size. I mean, we have very good income, so I thought, well, it's about that time. Come together. We got a long march ahead of us. It's ready. My agents have scheduled a journey for uh, Rambolt, which will take them to the dark woods. All that is missing is a band of thugs, and they will tragically slay them in a highway robbery gone wrong. I can already imagine blood seeping in dark soil. All the woods can be a terrifying place. Thugs did their job. Uh, Rambolt is no more. As the travel party stopped the camp for the evening, bandits pour from among the trees, calling for blood and gold. The soldiers fought back, but thankfully it was not enough. He was slain in the melee. <laughs> Conveniently, most of the bands were slain in the fighting, and the dead do not speak. No one will ever know my involvement. You any good? He's better. And hey, he's of our culture. My patriarch. How long will it take you to get to work on working on that county? Get to work on working on? Is that what you just said? Yeah, the multiple rally point ideas doesn't seem to be working. Or maybe it does, it's just, well... Again, that's a little issue they need to be fixed. Like, if you're going to have two rally points, then wouldn't that be, you know, splitting the armies? Would that be ideal? I ought to have you disband so the reinforcements can move up to the main army instead. And you two? We'll do all the work from here. It's him again. Oh yeah, you got him. Even though you're also in the middle of something. Never back down. Less friendly casualties and more to the advantage. At least to me. They want to have ride lead armies. Since I started my search, reports are coming in from all over the realm, spotting the majestic white stag. To shift through the accounts and sort fact from fiction is a huge task. If only the reports were more reliable. It's cruel business, I know, but my steward will sort this. Hey, where's the remaining? Taza. Sheikdom of Taza. Fled south, so 
head down this way. Forces captured Abu. Aha. We shall meet in battle. Unless he's going that way, then damn it. But at least our ships will go faster now. If he even dares to think about the siege in Orania. He didn't even stand a chance. Well, we're going to Orania for the first time in a long time. Spend big on embarking. Coming in. Done and done. Continue to build buildings. Oh yeah, that's still ongoing, which... No, can't speed it up. We're in the middle of converting this culture and we're halfway done, so don't even think about it. But we will keep up with the foreign affairs. This is excellent. Oh, I just remembered where... Remember your main mission. Eliminate the Umayyad Sultanate for good. When we take over the islands, then the rest of their uh, family will have to be wandering to some other places. Somewhere in Northern Africa, we assume. Or hell, you go to, you know, Italia Rome. Which, they're on the offensive. Oh, they're taking advantage of the weakness of it. Take Going after Spoleto. And this is a holy war for the Duchy of Spoleto. Whenever that crusade is coming up, Romania is going to be definitely the target that I want them to go. Eight thousand strong. Amazing. Oh, we already have it there. I didn't pay attention. Still got everything. And our knights are pretty decent. We'll get better ones once we deal with the last of them. Plus, we're going to get even more knights in the future. Especially when my prestige gets higher and higher. And maybe one day I will reach the Living Legend, the highest possible level of fame, which we'd never ever had this before in our uh, family history. Let's do it. Okay, check the areas. Level three, four. Level three, two. Split in half. You'll be taking this asylum, and uh, we're going this way. We'll be bringing in siege weapons to the capital. Ah, take charge. Because I want the glory for myself. Because I want to be there to witness, you know, the end of the Umayyad Sultanate. And 
subsequently create a kingdom of Valencia. Flame is not as young as it once was, and as he crawls in my lap, I can feel him trembling. I gently stroke his orange fur, and I listen with her longer to the night. But as silence falls, I know that he won't wake again. I will miss you, Flame. You've been good to me. Defense of buildings. Hopefully we capture him. They're gone. Sure, there's no loot here, but this is to finish them off for good. We took the Sultan in. You are finished. Yeah, he's gonna be wondering. That man isn't doing good these days. Wouldn't executing him give me the nickname, you know, the King Slayer or whatnot, but... Yeah. But hey, do you have a lot of money? I mean, we could just ransom you. And then we're gonna catch you again. Well, it doesn't matter because he won't have a country, so just... Is there any loot over there? No? You know, just screw it, alright? You got what you wanted, don't, um, don't prolong this any further. Because you may never know, um, what kind of other things that may happen during the course. Sure, it lowers the Catholicism's fervor, but they're gone for good. Now, who wants this um, duchy here? Because I'm creating it. Now, somebody's going to have it. Perhaps another one of my knights? Yeah, Valencia. He already has all the holdings that he needs. Restore Leonese. All right, court position. Yeah, how about you have the new duchy? I mean, somebody's gonna have to run the place, and it has to be our culture, which will one day be a store Leonese. And no longer my court physician. Oh, that's fine. Just give me another. I'll pay. Let me see. Sixteen. Nine. Well, he is a renowned physician. And he's a beautiful man. If I was uh, a bio homosexual, I would make it my lover. He's good looking son of a bitch, but just get him in. And he's a knight because, well, he's got the prowess. But we'll get far better knights in the future. You want to negotiate an alliance with me? Are we related? Yes. Well. Yeah. You're the Duke of Swabia, even though you are a heretic. And we consider you hostile, and yet 
You are a terrible person. No, thank you. That would be well out of my way. Let's just focus on it here now, now that the Reconquista is finished. 400 years early. Nearly more than 400 years early. So I was going to save the money and then create the kingdom title of Valencia. Adding another kingdom to my collection. She's picked up Scholar now, so that's learning plus five for her. Yeah, picked it up at such a young age. You've done very well. And with that, that further contributes up to, you know, the learning skill for here. But I still lack uh, diplomacy, so I kind of want you to switch to that, the one that's Probably more towards your thing. Court politics. So start working on that. I will go pick up Scholar one day. I mean, sure, having less learning skills, that means it's going to take a little bit longer to get what I want. The fascinations of it. Who wants to be the Chancellor? Well, actually, you. From Orania. Old age. Figures. Now, the real question is, where do we expand now? I mean, we can't fight Aquitaine. Excuse me. We can't fight Aquitaine because there's no such thing as the Jura claimant wars. Unless, um, create titles or kingdoms belonging to Valencia. Or just do it the old way and fabricate claims. Hey, I know he won't accept it, but, um... Yeah, it's matrilineal. And plus, yuck, inbred. He's never gonna have children in this life. But her, who's next in line, oh, that's just a... You come... What's the matter with that man? Yeah, he's inbred, and, and and she's not an inbred, so excuse me. Severely injured. Did that come from marrying one another? Is that where the heck this came from? Yeah, that's where. I guess they just had bad luck. only had a son right now, it would be grand. Too bad I don't have the other thing that my forefathers had. But oh well. Catholic Andalusian. Master Hunter. I'm out of my retinue in the middle when the road uh, twists and takes us close to the hills. It is where I see it once more, glimmer in the sun, the white stag. I turn to alert the others, but as I turn back, the stag's already gone. It taunts me! It really, really wants it. A local. Hmm. Barracks Cordova finally constructed.
Go ahead. But from now on, just save your money for a kingdom. Our income is good enough where, as I said before, collecting taxes and possible extra taxes is just now unnecessary. So a focus on promoting culture would do us a lot better in the long run. When there's more stored Leonese people throughout the entire empire, development will be better. And, uh, so as the taxes, levies, and whatnot. 75% chance that I would gain 0. Um, 0.76 each bonus each one. So, average development of a store in these copies from previous travel era. Explosion. Serious religion with the Lombards. Yeah. That's why we have to spread the culture. So, there are a few things are more I enjoy more than our company. We spent an evening bothering the last 7 3. Nearly down about every small mistake and complaining about every detail. Who knew that petty axotor truly has a way of easing a troubled mind? After this short break, I was once again ready to take on my duties. I'm lucky to have a friend like Christina, my sister and friend. About to get King's Guard soon. Again, after all this, I'm gonna pick up Gallant Scholars next. Go this way, and that way. Don't know about all the way, but also the family thing, yes. Or maybe family after, I don't know. But 30 gold a month in this empire sized area. How much is for the kingdom? 500. Wait a minute, what? Oh, I haven't created Morsia yet. Well, that's because somebody else has it. I need more money and quick. I could, you know, be patient and wait for it, but... Hey, Your Holiness, uh, how you doing? Oh, yeah, you're a sinner. Sorry about that. Uh -uh. Give me some money. Alright? <laughs> I can use that to create the kingdom title. That's one of my sisters. This sounds like a stupid idea. How far already the trove? The trove? Trove. I was hoping it's like, hey, why don't we make alliances with the Muslims to, oh, I don't know, help them out with the Mali situation, which they're currently on the defense, or joining their allies on the defense. And those Italians are becoming a problem. Oh yeah, we can go Holy War all the way to Sardinia. Yeah. If we can expand beyond from our comforts of home, then I guess Sardinia is going to be the place to be. But these are our Sharis, and... Uh, But they got allies. Big ones. Oh, especially them. That, that won't happen. They still haven't retaken Jerusalem yet. As the Byzantine Empire continues to... Oh, they're just involved in some other affair. All the way down there. And how the Byzantines owned this area is beyond me. They crossed the Caspian, I assume, and then they got that way. This is 
Nori. And pagan Eastern Europe is still strong. While Northern France is... Really? The Duke who used to be... You know... Norse and then they embraced Catholicism. Yes. And he is the house head. You got plenty. So we have even more knights now. Which I should, should spend a little bit of money by picking up whatever knights that answers the call. So we can recruit some. Just to be ready for future conflicts. Regardless of faith and culture, you're coming in. Next. What else was the part of Duchy of Cordoba. Calatrava. Hey, idea. I don't even know where the capital of Aquitaine is. Where do you reside in? Oh, you're up there. Is that so? Due to our tutelage. Here's another. This marriage alliance was... Nope, too far. These are all, you know... Oh, no, no, you had them before. Finally, something to reduce the stress with. I was thinking about going hunting very soon, but I don't think that option's come up yet. No, it'll happen later this year. Be patient. As one plate of food is replaced by the next, my cousin, Captain, uh, I know, of the Slaughterers, goes on and on about troop composition. And that's how we salvage that mess. Are you sure I'm not boring, my lord? Oh, of course not. Go on. Kingdom. Second. Kingdom created. Increasing prestige even further. As I'm exalted among men now. And it's going to take a long time to reach the living legend. Which I've never had it before. As we could tell that Countess Yemena um, had too much to drink even now. She insisted on showing us how sober she was. Simply rising her seat proved too much for her, now covered in stinking vomit. You ought to be ashamed of yourself, because I am humble, and I get 
a little bit more stressed than than should have. Oh, and my sister just died. That furthers up my stress even further. But still, what a feast. Eager ever. It's really helping up with the diplomacy. And more taxes thanks to buildings, spread of the culture, happier vassals, a patriarch that endorses me. Life is good. Even though one day we will have to fight Aquitaine for the lands that is rightfully ours. And yet it's only for this, this, and this, and that's it. No need for Barcelona. And in the future, we will spring up from there and go to Sardinia. Holy warrior, we need someone like you in our ranks. So, check out your knights. Yeah, you got everything from the good and the bad. And I guess that makes me the best fighter around. If I'm leading my troops in battle. Oh, that was my old spy master. And I really don't care about powerful vassals in Croatia, eh? It's part of Aquitaine, isn't it? Well, half Byzantine, half Aquitaine. And who was it again? You got a lot of guests. After all, you're an empire, you do have to expect guests. Especially with claimants. Yeah. Bosnia, Antonia, Croatia. Oh, but she's 80. No children. No children at all. If I ever see a claimant that comes from the uh, kingdom, I'd be happy to. This is what invite claimants are for. But if you want to have, you know, better and vibrant courts, so better guests will be attracted. So I don't know if I should spend my renown on that. Or if I'm more focused on stuff like these. I really don't care about control, so maybe this will do in the future. R reminder, get that. Alright, more feasts. I was prepared to go hunting. Still, I impregnated you again. What is life without it? Thank you. Oh, what's going on? Civil War? Saran will be the at the Liberty War. And we know that Saran, cadet branch of the Avacids, will be there. They're committed. Farewell, my vassal. Oh, what notable guests. Make an accomplished commander. Of course. Need all the good fighting men. That we can get. Now let me hunt, damn it. I want to look for that white stag. You would think a creature from myth, perhaps a god, this guy's animal form, it was the largest stag ever seen. He's been after the beast was wounded, a chase that lasted a day and a half. It is still an opposing sight, lying dead before me. Count Diego is just as awestruck. I've never seen such a thing, my lord. This is gonna go against my humble. He's just a Count of Arania. Another hunting trophy. Now put it next to the wolf. 
wonder if I pick up that hunter trait like some of my commanders. Especially these puzzle commanders of ours. Three months left. He's doing well. I took Mencia out to playing with the bow, and to my surprise, she ran into a wounded doe. When she showed me the animal, its wounds or evidence show, show a slow, torturous death, and then it just smiled. Well, keep an eye on her. She's in there. That I am educating, because we have no son yet. Don't want her to be sadistic, but then show me that you could have felt an animal yourself. If we do not produce a son, then I guess it'll be women that run the empire then. Which will be the first. What are they just, uh, oh yeah, I forgot about the partition. Excuse me. That's successional. Look for... Main succession. Got better partition in. If you want to switch that, you got to have a limited crown authority, which we can do that right now. It's going to cost me a lot of prestige for this. And, uh, got to have one of more powerful vassals with negative... And he opposes... Well, then. Here's some money. Big pile of money. They all approve. Yes, sir. Now it's just partition, not confederate partition. Which, again, under confederate partition, my titles will be divided equally between my children. New titles may be created for younger heirs. Partition is titles will be divided equally between your children. So we're not quite there to high partition. And this primogenitor, genitor thing, that's way, way later. So eligible child opinion plus five, there's a difference. And player error opinion up. So we're switching that right now. Glad I spent that great deal of prestige. And the money too. Now let's go on a feast. And I'd lose even more stress because I'm an eager reveler. It really helps. Thank you. Good work. Okay, now where? Looking at the monthly progress of which one's the fastest? One point fifty one, one point fifty four, one point fifty four Valencia. Of course, Valencia. It'll take you eleven years. If fast. Unless I want to take the theologian route. While I'm talking over dinners, block up uh um, leads over. Wish you know sound as clear as you do, Emperor Old City. I like to soup off my chin with that smile, an intelligent looking smile. She recognizes true and I see. Number three dukes. Which again? Kingdoms will be splitting up uh, within the empire. So we're distributing it. And this is what we mean by women running the empire now. So she will have Hispania and Asturias, uh, Navarra, Andalusia. Adios, Valencia. I'll see you. I'd like to have more children, please. Ideally, a son. So Catalina approaches Jadvika and me at the beginning. This is a marvelous feast. All covets to help me. She deserves all the credit. And also, come on, Your Holiness. When is the next crusade coming up? I'm real anxious. <laughs> Till next time, and... Now, let's look at the vassals again. Anybody that's at least any part negative? 
No. None of my vessels are negative. Even a powerful one, so it doesn't care if I give them titles or not. Titles. Part of the council. So you've truly done it all. At a young age, you stabilized the country. But I still would love to have a son. I mean, four daughters is nice, it's just... And not to mention, they're all strong. Very strong. In more than a year, I'm gonna get mustering grounds and we'll spend it to um, increase the size of the men in arms, each of every one of them. And as for this other thing with um, Cash Spell Eye, um, what is this for? Um, oh, there it is! Did your account the Cash Spell Eye? That's what I was wondering. Oh. Okay, get that next. Because one day we will be fighting against Aquitaine for each and every one of these signs. Which we'll have to catch them in their weakness. My cousin, I'll be honest, was showing signs of pregnancy sometime now. And everyone thought that her husband, Arias, was the father of child. Now it's become clear that the father to be is none other than Gullin. Andalusian. What a scandal. Honestly, there's nothing going to be much happening um, nowadays, so I may want to speed things up here. But first, mass ransom. Get them out of here. Gardens and vegetable plantations. Romance scheme, above power scheme, increase. Skills from spouse counselor test, that would be very useful. That's the reason why I'm willing to pick up gallants before I even change my focus on anything else. And I will be, and I'm willing to go to Andalus, uh, excuse me, Sardinia, when their alliance breaks. But the problem is, you know, hey, is he, that's like a, it's a marriage between the two. The problem is too far away. They're too far away. That won't happen. I'll pass through the castle gardens. Oh, she's pregnant. Pass through the castle gardens for a morning walk when a soft breeze carries the voices of Timberwind and Geodemaya. The two courtiers are talking to each other in a secluded spot nearby, frequently glancing around to make sure nobody's listening. While it's hard for me to make out most of their words from a distance, it is clear that the discussion relates to Duke or Dorno. Two Andalusian knights having a conversation. Oh, don't do that. It's a 50-50, so if only I could get a little closer. I managed to get closer of the two without them noticing. They seem to be discussing his private life and some unsavory habit of his. Oh, interesting. A bastard, eh? I ought to blackmail him. He's already a sinner. There, we cook. Since we don't do elective monarchy anymore, I could at least modify your contract. Or... Who knows? I may do something with that in the future. <laughs> Just keep it around. That's something we should do more of. Look for some secrets. I mean, this is a very stable realm, so forget about supporting schemes. Go find me some secrets. Like, uh, how about an Aquitaine? Since, you know, one day we will be fighting against them. Well, actually, the situation's too chaotic over there. 
or even perhaps over there since although I would prefer Ali because I would love to have an alliance with him despite the fact of our differences in faith but if I can get a strong hook from him then it's a good bet so where's your capital one more time You live in Hodna. It's going to take about 10 months. Oh, I did not see the percentage of the set. God dang it. Secrets. 90% chance of learning a secret. Very good place to be. My daughter and I. She's ambitious, as I told her. Heterosexual. Once again, it's another daughter! And she gets Andalusia and Cordoba. Oh, Cordoba. That's why I want to kind of want to move my capital to there. And to kick somebody out of that duchy. Even though it's tyranny and possible rebellion. And it keeps going to Sancho, so I'm calling her Sancho, okay? Two months. Okay, not a lot of happening, so we're speeding things up. Oh, disciplined recruits. I'm observing Ordono as he trains some of his new ladies, but the recruits under his command resemble a disorganized mob more than an army. I look on as he struggles to gain control of the situation, clearly pushed to his limits. While it's never easy to train new soldiers, he seriously needs to do better than this. Teach him what I know about command. His devices except goes he good over to one side as well as recruits attempt to continue their training. The key thing with training new soldiers is instilling discipline. I tell him without that, you'll be unable to depend on them to follow your orders. After I finish, Ordonu uh, thanks me before strolling back in the field, where he quickly takes control of the situation. He will make a better commander. Fascination grounds. What? That's mustering grounds. Okay, we'll go for Castbella next. It'll take seven years. Then we can finally start fighting for these lands. And after that, we'll go back to early medieval and see what may interest me in mind. Here's another thing to spend our money on. Increase the size. Each and every one of them. Oh, I didn't. I didn't notice the size five thing. Whew. that's a big difference. It's going to make our army bigger, but it'll definitely increase the quality. It's elite now. Okay, we're actually going to stop it right here. Yes, a crusade for Jerusalem, but we're going to have to have him change his mind and go for Latium, Romania. So my warriors are ready to fight because I got nothing better to do. In fact, we're, we're going to end the episode on that note, because on the next episode, we're taking Rome back. And if I do happen to contribute the most, then, well then, I better raise my army and go over to the coast before the crusade even officially begins. Gotta go ahead of time. But of course, we're gonna need a lot of money. And fast. So I'm ready for a crusade. And one of these days, we're gonna have a son, or this empire is gonna be ruled by women. Yes, huh? this generation of women running the empire, an empress, and many queens here, and still considering whether or not I should move the capital to Cordoba. It's becoming more so now since I'm investing there, and hopefully we learn some secrets and could get some hooks. Uh, yes, all that and more.
for the next episode of Asturias, now known as Hispania, as the reference of the Empire now united. So we hope you to see us next time for the reconquest of Lactium. Till then, so long for now.